First speaker will be um, Raul Rodriguez. He is your constituent. Okay, I'd just like to start by asking, uh, uh, thanking you for allowing us to come here and get together so we can uh, basically share our grievances with what's going on in our country. Basically, we would like for Jay to uh, sign on to this uh, POS Act, be a co-sponsor, because it's important that we continue to protect American citizens. We should always come first before mm -hmm. any foreigner. <coughs> yes. So, um, I hear that. Uh, basically, that's it. We just want to make sure that Jay can sign on to as a co-sponsor to this bill. It's very important that we continue to protect every American citizen in our country. And we should not allow anyone to come into our country illegally. This is why I have this sign, legal, not illegal. So it's important that we, we do that. Our rights should always come before anybody, any, anyone outside our country. Thank you. So. And then your constituent, Karen, would like to say a few words. I am Karen Velasco. Um, I'm a proud mother of a uh, LAPD officer, um, Army veteran of a 26-year-old. Um, I am a constituent, that's a big word for me, <laughs> and I am for the PAUSE Act of 2021 because I, want my, I have a 14-year-old also, and I'm doing this for my children and my grandchildren, and uh, I want to be safe in America first. For Americans, they can come legally, do the work for legally, to, for, to come to our country legally, but none of this border. It's unsafe, there's a pandemic, and uh, I'm scared. It's, it's, it's like night and day for me right now, from just a month, mm -hmm. okay, so 100%. Okay. And then your next con constituent, Mike. Uh, yeah, I'd like to say I'm very pleased that uh, Jay is our congressman, mm -hmm. and I'd like to uh, say that he would uh, I'd like to see him support the Pause Act. Uh, also, I was just reading in an article that in the immigration, we've got six to eight million a backlog of six to eight million deportees that are to be deported. We can't even find them, and so. Biden is waving in thousands more. Mm -hmm. The immigration system is in utter and total chaos. It's been like that for many years. So to bring in more illegal aliens is, is utterly uh, suicidal. It's idiotic. I don't know how to describe it. And I would like to see Jay and the Republicans in Congress put up a fight, a strong, strong wall against the Democrats uh, everything Trump did, they, they sued him. They, everything he did, they stopped. They tried to stop him. So I know that I know our Republican guys can do this. And I would like to see Jay and the other guys up there doing their job and stop talking and start doing. Mm -hmm. Something must be done. This idiot in the White House must be stopped. Yes. Hear that. <laughs> That's okay. it. Um, I'm Rob Pruden. Um, Numbers USA is the largest nonprofit um, website addressing immigration. Uh, get, you should become familiar with it. Ken Cal Calvert, who is a co sponsor of this bill, has a career A rating from them and a recent A. Uh, Jay, as a brand new member of Congress, has no rating yet. I think if he were to co sponsor this, it would go a long way to getting him recognition yes. uh, by his constituents and getting an A. So I'm going to leave these with you. Absolutely, yeah, Lori? Hi, my name is Lori Masonis, and like most of my colleagues, all of my colleagues here, I support Pause Act of 2021, and I'm asking Congressman Jay Obernoti, who I've met occasions <coughs> before, um, that he would also jump the ba bandwagon to support uh, protecting Americans from unnecessary spread upon entry. Mm -hmm. I think that title is very important because that title is literally telling why we need this act. Um, because as it stands, we have, unfortunately, growing numbers of migrants on their way here, and there's no telling where they come from, what they've gone through, where they live, what they've been exposed, and during uh, COVID-19, American citizens should be protected, and it's a case of national security, so please, um, Congressman 
Um, I want you to support the PAWS Act of 2021. It was introduced by New Mexico Congress member Yvette Harrell and join good company with Ken Calvert, who is a co-sponsor and gets an A from USA Numbers. Thank you. Yes. Phyllis? Uh, my name is Phyllis Namath. Uh, I wish I had uh, Congressman Obernolte as my representative. I unfortunately have Judy Chu. Boo. Yeah, oh boo. <laughs> but I would uh, appreciate it if um, the Congressman would get on the bandwagon with Ken Calvert and support the PAWS Act of 2021. Uh, I'm in favor of President Trump's um, statement about America first, and uh, the current occupant of the White House seems to have America last because mm -hmm. he's uh, just opening the borders, and uh, we don't know if they're sick people coming in, terrorist people coming in, or maybe a combination of both. So I'm hoping that he will sign on as a co-sponsor to the PAWS Act of 2021. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bill? Uh, well, I'd just like to say, well, uh, uh, add this, is that since 9-11, uh, illegal aliens are responsible for the deaths of approximately 4,000, I think it's 61,000 or 62,000 American citizens. That's about four to 5,000 more than we lost in the same, approximately the same amount of time as we were fighting in the Vietnam War. Now, what President Trump said, I agree with, America first. You don't let people come in here if they're going to endanger the lives of American citizens. We're talking about murder, uh, drunk driving, uh, accidents, right. uh, not to mention other crimes such as sexual assaults and robberies, <laughs> that sort of thing. Sorry. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so I would appreciate all that uh, uh, Mr. Obernorty will do. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name. I appreciate okay. everything that he can do uh, to support the PAWS Act. Unfortunately, I've got no Matorias for a congresswoman, and she's uh, she's America. She's like uh, Joe Biden. America lasts. Mm -hmm. You know, America means nothing to Norma Torres, and it means very little to uh, uh, Joe Biden. And I think we all another thing we need to remember in, in reality: President Trump did win that election. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Newman. I would like to just briefly add to what has already been said, because you're familiar mm -hmm. with that. Uh, we the People Rising um, makes up much of this group that's here. We're also involved with the Remembrance Project mm -hmm. that um, also fights for legal immigration and dealing with illegal immigration. Uh, that's sufficient for what I have to say. I am a candidate for Governor of State of California in the special election. We, many of them here, have been with Jay Obernolte and discussed matters, um, a number of matters in the past. He did a splendid job in California government and that's what we would like, that kind of representation from this district in um, Washington, D.C. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Newman. Stella? Uh, yes, my name is Stella May. I'm the executive director for uh, concerned citizens of California. Um, I also want to ask Congressman Obernolte to co-sponsor the PAWS um, Act. Uh, I personally live in Ken Calvert's district, so um, I traveled all the way up here to present you with some more information oh, relative to Title 42, um, that's specifically 42 CFR Section 34, 70, and 71. I have a packet here that um, addresses Title 42 and the myriad of diseases that uh, back in 2014 um, started reemerging um, unknown diseases and other known diseases relative to the Obama redistributing the children, et cetera. So I am going to follow this up with a, uh, an email with a PDF so that you can uh, you. click on all the links. This contains documentation of verified illnesses across the states uh, from the NIH, that's the uh, um, National Institute of Health, as well as the CDC, various medical doctors that have attested to these things all across the southern border states as well as interior states of the United States. So I'm going to give you this you. so that you can eyeball it and go OMG because there are a lot of OMG things. On another note, um, we were uh, we, we uh, the concerned citizens of California, as well as um, 
uh, We the People Rising, that would be Robin Pittston and uh, Raul Rodriguez as the um, uh, California Coordinator for America, uh, first Latinos. Um, we presented a position statement regarding the impact of immigration enforcement on California children on March 4th, so you're welcome to also have that. We addressed COVID-19 before the state shut down and all the implications of diseases inherent in um, children and families of undocumented that were being um, allowed into the community. So this is another supportive document that we hope you'll take seriously and, and uh, really read uh, the information because it is absolutely essential that we protect our borders. Title 42, otherwise known as um, 42 uh, Code of Federal Regulations with all the various sections, the specific ones are addressing um, the quarantine, interstate quarantine, the quarantining of documents, uh, undocumented uh, per se, as well as um, medical uh, documentation. We used to have Ellis Island. We no longer have Ellis Island. So again, I, I ask um, your office to relay this information and I'll follow up when I get home this evening um, with a PDF that'll have all this information so you can send it to Washington, okay, because yeah. it's a lot easier. Right, yeah. And that's all I have to say. Okay. Are you done? Yes. Yeah, so. Okay, I do have a couple of other issues that I'd like Wait, to... Wait, uh, well, so we would just like to leave our information. Yes. And um, Raul will be following up, mm -hmm. So, and your other constituents. We are really hoping that the congressman will co-sponsor, not only co-sponsor this, mm -hmm. but take a strong stance, Stand. write a press release. Uh, again, Congressman Ken Calvert has done that, so we're really hoping that he'll be our shining star and that we yes. can call upon him yeah. to this. And we'll be following up. Your constituents, Raul, Karen, and Mike will be right. following and maybe up. Maybe we can schedule a meeting with Jay himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we He's available. Uh, that would be great because then this way we can speak directly to him and he can, uh, you know, yeah, move Absolutely. forward. Yeah. The congressman has an open door policy, so yeah. we yes. can set up a meeting. Okay, I, okay. I just wanted to add the fact that this bill was introduced by New Mexico Congresswoman Yvette Harrell. I do believe that she was a member of Congress some years ago, and then uh, she, uh, somebody else took that spot, and now she's back. This is the first bill that she put yeah, in because she yeah. thought it was that's very important. important. So even though you're new, you can still uh, lead, take a lead. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely, good very point. Good. good point, Phyllis. <laughs> All right. And well, thank you. That, you know, a, a, securing our border and operating it as a international border is essential. I mean, we cannot have this. We cannot tolerate it. Uh, if they want to talk about it, they want to make speeches and all that stuff. We, the the Democrat, the Republican Party, has got to stop this. Cannot be tolerated. Here, here, I heard that. You know, I just can't.